Disgraced Today anchor Matt Lauer was booted from the NBC Morning Show in November 2017, after he was accused of gross sexual misconduct. For the most part, he's been out of the spotlight ever since. Now he's facing new, serious allegations of sexual malfeasance, and he's hitting back with a response of his own. Brooke Nevels, the NBC News employee whose sexual harassment complaint led to the firing of Lauer, says she was raped by the former anchor, according to investigative journalist Ronan Farrow's new book, Catch and kill. In excerpts from the book obtained by Variety, Nevels and Farrow allege graphic and horrific details of her encounter with Lauer, which Nevels says left her both physically and emotionally traumatized. In response to the bombshell allegations, NBC News released the following statement on air. Matt Lauer's conduct was appalling, horrific, and reprehensible, as we said at the time. That's why he was fired within 24 hours of us first learning of the complaint. Today, co-host Savannah Guthrie was clearly emotional when addressing the new allegations. You know, this is shocking mm -hmm. and appalling, and um, I honestly don't even know what to say mm -hmm. about it. In a letter penned on October 9th, 2019, Lauer categorically denied the allegations, calling his sexual encounter with Nevels a, quote, completely consensual extramarital affair. Dismissing the claims as being part of a promotional effort to sell a book, Lauer wrote that Nevels' story, quote, ignores the facts and defies common sense. He went even further, calling out other women for having sexual affairs with him as well. He wrote, For two years, the women with whom I had extramarital relationships have abandoned shared responsibility and and instead shielded themselves from blame behind false allegations, and I will no longer provide them the shelter of my silence." The new accusations come following rumors that Lauer would be attempting to stage a media comeback at some time in the future. In August 2018, he was reported by Page Six to have cheerily told a group of fans who missed him, "'Don't worry, I'll be back on TV.'" It was rumored that Lauer was networking with his former colleagues in an effort to stage a comeback. The same outlet also reported two months prior that Lauer was spotted dining with veteran Today producer Deborah Kosofsky. On top of that, a source told Radar Online that Lauer was planning to capitalize on some impending changes coming to NBC by pilfering staff from today for a comeback project in an effort to exact revenge on everyone who ousted him. The insider told the outlet, "...once management changes at NBC News happen, Matt will have his chance to redeem himself on air and have his revenge on those who looped him with the Me Too era's worst scoundrels." Sources also told Radar that since Megyn Kelly was fired from NBC, she's also reached out to Lauer about doing a new morning show together in an effort to go head-to-head -head with the show that spurned them both. When it comes to Lauer's mysterious future plans, Kelly remarked to Us Weekly, "...I know too much that others don't know." Although he hasn't appeared on television since 2017, Matt Lauer made a bunch of cameos in 2019 on Romy Lauer's TikTok videos. That's right, the disgraced Today anchor is now an inadvertent social media star in what the Los Angeles Times described as, quote, "...full goofy dad mode." In the trio of short clips obtained by the publication, Matt Matt dances to Hot Shower by Chance the Rapper, sings along with Romy to Big Fun from Heather's The Musical, and does Avengers villain Thanos' deadly snap. As expected, Romy's comment section was filled with users bringing up the allegations against her father. Per Yahoo Entertainment, Romy defended her father, telling one user that they were spreading, quote, "...stories, not facts." But there are stories that aren't going away no matter how much Lauer might want them to. A source told ET in 2018, "...Matt seems to be under the impression that if he waits this news cycle out, this will go away." Way and he can have a comeback. He has seen a lot of people come back and hopes he will too. For right now, his friends feel that isn't realistic. His team has discussed a public apology, but agreed disappearing right now seems to be for the best. As of October 2019, that no longer seems to be the case. A month before finalizing his divorce from Annette Roque in September 2019, Lauer was spotted with his now ex-wife at the Hampton Classic Horse Show supporting their daughter, Romy. ET reports that although the pair arrived separately, they appeared to act friendly to each other during the two-hour event. Lauer might also be looking to make a move away from his longtime Hamptons enclave. In 2018, he listed his six-bedroom Hamptons mansion for $12.75 million. A year later, he was trying to unload his other Hamptons mansion, located in the beach community of Peconic Bay, for $44 million. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the latest celeb news and scandals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.